Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Napoli up against Inter. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Here's the team for Napoli. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Kostas Manolas in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Arturo Vidal plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of the pitch. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And the match begins. Fabian Mertens and now Zielinski Inter did well to regain control of the ball Fabian Lozano and struggling to get the shot off well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. And firing it into the area. The end product just wasn't there. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. No real conviction in the challenge. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. Over it comes. <laughs> Alessandro Bastoni. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Really a very poor ball. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Vidal passing, but losing out of that battle of wits. Moving forward effectively. And far from textbook defending. The Nerazzurri regaining possession. It's very pleasing on the eye, this attack, which goes through Perisic. Well, wide by a hair's breadth. Almost had it where he wanted it. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Si prega il gentile pubblico di occupare solo e soltanto il posto assegnato, evitando di invadere altri posti con borse o altri Martinez. Lukaku 
Martinez. The block from Costas Manolas. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Ericsson. Romelu Lukaku now. There's a slide draw pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. They've regained possession. Superbly read and executed. Zielinski. And Mertens. Beautifully timed. Ericsson. Martinez. Lukaku. And Napoli come away with it. A potential danger here. And in from Insigne. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. It is to be a throw in. possibilities inside the box however a well thought out piece of defending well worth I think at this stage going back to the chance from earlier taken short into the middle from Lorenzo Insigne and clears the danger Martinez well there might well be scope for them to counter attack here all hands on deck Hakimi, now Lukaku. Hakimi. Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Played into the centre of the box. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Fabian. Mertens. Ozimhen. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Well, great read there to intercept. Ozimhen. And well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Lukaku. Hakimi, Lukaku waiting, just couldn't capitalise there, Zielinski, here's Fabian, so one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said, Lozano and Fabian, the first half here comes to an end. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Martinez. There to win it back. Well, he likes to run at them. Now he must favour the cross. Fine reaction from the keeper. Yeah, it looked like a good opportunity, to be fair, but the keeper was more than equal to it. Well, the short corner routine. It's opening up for them. Martinez. Read it well. Hakimi. Romelu Lukaku now. And the pass could do damage. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating.
Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. Underway once again with Inter in front. And continues his run. Napoli's certainly controlling the possession here, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. And space to exploit, maybe. The cross is on. Eriksson. This is Vidal. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Fabian. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Angled towards Insigne. And it's come off the keeper. Well, he needs to be careful here. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, he could run onto it here. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. In campo, con il numero 5, Timue Bakayoko. Pesca dalla panchina l'allenatore dell'Inter con questo cambio. Lascia il campo. Vidal. Con il numero 98, Akrafa Akimi. Now potential danger. Dentro, con il numero 15, Ashley. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Played in by Brozovic. I'm sure, you know, he wishes he could have that header back. Well, in that position, you should think he's going to score, but it's really a poor effort with his head. Con il numero 22, Arturo Vidal. Entra in campo con il numero 23, Nicolò Barella. He sigh. Bakayoko. Ozim Hen. Tiamue Bakayoko. Now can they make something happen? Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. And an opportunity for Napoli to get right back into this game. Corner kick coming up. So making the substitution now. Over it comes, just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Not up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Alessandro Bastoni. Barella has it. Martinez, really good interception. Mertens and Fabian late in the game Napoli with work to do who's to say what happens next Insigne I'll tell you what Lee a key moment in the game that save oh, right at the end as well and over comes the corner Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? In campo, con il numero 5, Roberto Gagliardini. And now the delivery. 
Politano. And a significant block following that cross. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. And firing it into the area. And tipping it over the crossbar. And he's fired over the corner. That's all they can conjure for now. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Lukaku. Oh, it was a close-run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Wow, just feel the energy from these Napoli supporters. Can they urge their team back into this? Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Martinez, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Tiamue Bakayoko. It's with Milik. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now well, that'll be a free kick. And the problem not completely solved. This could be the equaliser. Keeper getting the touch. Well, they can. And uh, that will do it. The referee brings this match to an end. Inter entitled to be happy about this because they picked up maximum points, Lee. Just nudging ahead when they did as won it for them in the end. Really tight affair that was. Well, Ivan Perisic, a real handful for opponents, as is often the case. Lee, what did you think about what you saw from him? Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. 